everybody. I hope you guys are all doing okay today. Uh, welcome back. I've got a journal complaint I wanted to share. This is a guest design team project for Musings by Nikki on um, Etsy. Um, this particular kit is called the Rustic Lovely Florals. And uh, Nikki had contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in, in working with one of the kits. And this is the one I chose because it's totally me. I love the rustic shabby chic, as you guys know. Um, so I was really drawn to this, but she has some beautiful kits in her uh, shop, and she's regularly adding more. So do uh, check her shop out. I'll put the link below to this kit, and there's another kit that I used within this as well. So um, I'll put those in the description box below. But let's just get started. This journal is a one signature fabric, and the cover, I've got lots of laces, some trims, and then I just made these really um, rustic looking flowers out of some doily, some uh, fabric that I've got with a bit of design in it, and then it's got a little bit of um, eyelash trim behind and a couple of vintage buttons. Um, really pleased with how those came out, and then um, just various bits from my scrap box, and I'm I'm really pleased with how that covers come out. It's um, this image is absolutely gorgeous, and this has been printed out on cardstock and then sewn to some um, vintage lace, and then apl uh, applied to the cover. So um, this is the back of the journal. So I've just left that plain. It's a one signature five hole pamphlet stitch. Um, is how it's been held in and it's got a total of 56 pages so here in the front this is another one of the kits I used from Nikki's shop and this is a um, tear apart kit that she's got with uh, lots of definitions but I love the font that she chose to do that in and so within this pocket I've stamped a tag and then this is another one of the um, bits off of the stirrup there. And I can't recall what the name of that kit is, but I will put it in the description box below because I love that. Um, I can see a lot of uses for those. And then I've just attached this little um, key. Oh, I forgot what the key ring? No. Oh, you know what they are. <laughs> It slipped my mind for some reason. So over here, um, this is one of the pages from the kit, and then I just took some scraps that I had. I did um, two separate ruffles here, one being the lace, and then I came in with a bit of uh, vintage fabric that I had and made, and then this is a vintage button, and that's all been adhered. So you've got a tuck spot here and underneath, and then this is just a little journal card from my stash. Now this is um, another of the pages, and then here I've created um, another little pocket, and then this is one of the elements from the kit that I fussy cut out because I love that. I think that's such a beautiful, made it a beautiful little journal card. <clears throat> this is um, another of the page with the florals, so pretty, Nikki. Um, here we've got another of the Tim Holtz um, photo dies. Oh, just one second, guys. Sorry, I'm going to sit down. My back's really bothering me today for some reason. Um, so, let's see here. This is tea dyed. Um, what it was is that I had done some avocado dyeing at the end of the week. Or was, no, yeah, the end of last week, and I had some of it left and then I had some tea dye left and I mixed them and I it's come out with this beautifully rich color it's not really pink but it's just a, a super rich um, I don't know how to describe it but it's it's unique it's a unique color that um, so that's the tea and avocado mixed is, is how I achieved that and I did let that sit believe it or not I let that sit um, that batch sat in the pan for about 12 hours and it took on a really nice color. This was an extra um, piece of the 
paper that I had left over and I backed it. So I just folded that for additional writing space and tucked that in this pocket. I've done hand, um, the hand torn edges. I've taken lots of um, bits of scrap papers stitched together and done some pretty edgings on some of the pages throughout. This is a tea dye doily. Uh, just another journal card from my stash. This is another <coughs> one of the pages that comes in the kit. They are just so beautiful. Oh, sorry. I'm having all sorts of issues, guys. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but I love this. Um, the lined paper is just beautiful. And you've got the wood grain behind it and then um, like old vintage newspaper. It's been collaged beautifully. And then this is another one of the pages from the kit. Um, here I've just taken the piece, backed it with some of the baking paper um, to create a pocket there. And then this is um, just a hand stamped tag and then another uh, journal card from my stash. And this is an old uh, French receipt that I um, printed out because I thought it complemented. So I've got several of those throughout. And then here I've just taken and folded this over and created another pocket within the journal. And then this is one of the pages from the kit that I've printed onto cardstock to make the, a couple of tags. Um, as I said, an old vintage um, French receipt. And then here I've created this flip over and this is like a Franken page that I had, so I've just added that image to it, so you've got extra um, writing space. And then these, some of the receipts, um, if it hasn't been covered on the back, what I did was I took um, the script stamping, and then I distressed it with ink, and then I also applied gesso, so there's, it's got a really nice finish for and ready for writing. And this is another of the beautiful pages from the, the journal kit. Another little tuck spot here and just something from my stash. I love these pages. You can see that's a really deep color that um, tea and the avocado makes. Um, here I've done another um, edge cluster, page edge cluster, and this one flips over so you've got extra writing space here. And I'll show you a close up of that flower, and that's an old vintage button I've sewn to the center. And then um, I've created a big pocket here, and that's been backed with the baking paper. Um, again, this is the back of a receipt, so I've, this has got gesso, stamping, and inking. Center of the signature, there's a couple of glass um, beads attached to it. This is another of the um, printouts Nikki's got in her shop. It's for these field note cards, and I love these. I, I use these a lot because they're just a really great background um, to use, you know, if, if you want to collage on that. So, And then here's another pocket. I've done a lot of layering on here with the baking paper behind, and it's just peeking through, and then this is... Um, an image from Tracy Fox's um, little tea, faux tea card sets. Some more of that paper. Um, here is the other <clears throat> big pocket that's in the journal. And again, I just backed this image to some baking paper and then stitched it so you've got a nice big pocket there. <laughs> I just love it. It's a beautiful kit. Um, I'll tell you how this came about, and I actually love it now that it's in here. I originally had planned um, another ring-bound journal was what I was going to do with, with this kit, and um, I can't recall, but there was some reason. I started, excuse me, I started working with it, and... Uh, and it, it wasn't going the way I wanted, so I thought, well, I've already put this in. I don't want to lose it. So what I actually did was I've attached it to this. So you've actually got a little tuck spot here and then a little tuck spot here. 
and then this folds over and you've still got this area back here. So there's a lot of writing space. Um, this is one of the belly bands you get with the kit, so just tuck that little journal card behind it. Another uh, French receipt that I printed out from the internet. Here I've got some uh, muslin that's been stamped and then added to, um, sewn onto some vintage lace. And this is another one of the elements from the kit. I've just put a little eyelet there. And just various uh, tags and journal cards. I love this tag. I'm really pleased how this came out. Isn't that gorgeous? This is what I'm talking about, that ripped. It's the rip, uh, botanical rip sheet, I think is what she calls it, or something along those lines. But I will put the link to that, but I love how that's come out. The images are just so beautiful, and the coloring is very vibrant. Um, another little place where you can do some writing here. A lot of stitching throughout the journal as well. I tried to sew quite a bit in this one. And here I've just created another with the off cuts from the pages. I've just layered them up and I love how that's come out. Just a really pretty edge. Um, and then just another little handmade card. And uh, this is one of the journal cards from the kit. So I've tucked those in here and then I made this little um, it's another little dimensional flower, so you can see, because you know I like to have the dimension within my journals, and yet they lay flat when you're not working with it. So, another bit of paper, and then this is the back of this pocket here. Um, some old crochet uh, trim. And then, this is the back of the journal. I've just left this... Um, blank. You could add something if you wanted. As you can see, it's a pretty chunky journal, and I've just got this. Um, I didn't put a closure on this one because it. I felt like it, you know, it was fine just to, to have as it was. It would be easy enough to add some, you know, if the person felt they needed to have a closure, but I kind of like them. That's why they feel nice without the, um, the closure sometime and I love this material. It's such a beautiful shade. I just thought it just all went so beautifully with this kit, which was another reason I decided to go with the fabric. Because I've been missing working with the fabric. You know, I gotta bounce around. I can I do the big journals, um, the Nick style and a couple of those and boy I need a break. I like to get back to my materials. And this one was so much fun because it gave me the the opportunity to really play around with. Um, I've been wanting to work on some of the shabby chic style fabric flowers again because as I said I used to be in thorough flowers a lot and I kind of got away from it but I like how this is. It's just very simple you know it's it's I'm no expert for sure but I do love the way I just think that image is just gorgeous. So I hope you guys like what I did with her kit, and um, I hope you'll check out Nikki's shop. She's um, She's got some beautiful things in there. She's a, such a talented artist. Um, check out her channel as well, because she's, she's amazing. <laughs> she's very, very creative with her journals. So you guys have a great uh, rest of the day, and, well, have a great weekend, because we here we are at the weekend again, and... Um, so I don't know, you guys just let me know what your plans are. I don't think I've got a whole lot. Um, Saturday we're going to go to Wales to visit a farm um, and just have a bit of a day out because Wales is only about 10 minutes down the road from us. We're that close to the border, so um, it's not like, oh, she's going to Wales, oh, she's catching a flight. No, <laughs> no, it's 10 minutes down the road. Um, but we're, where we're going is about a 30-minute drive, so it'll just be a really nice country drive. Um, and we'll take Daisy with us and probably give her a good walk on Saturday. And just have a day out, probably stop and have lunch at a little cafe along the way. And... Uh, we haven't done that in a very long time, and we've, we've decided it's time to start uh, 
you know, getting out and doing some of the things we used to enjoy. So I'm really looking forward to that. I love whales. I um, it's yeah. It's if I ended up in Wales, I, I would not be disappointed. I love it there. It's such a beautiful, beautiful place. So. Anyways, just share with me what you guys, what your plans are for the weekend. I hope whatever you do, it'll be enjoyable and that you'll stay safe. And uh, I hope you guys are starting to get some cooler weather. We are here, so that's amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm much happier now. Um, cooler temperatures, so uh, hopefully it'll carry on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the first day I woke up and I thought, actually, it feels like autumn is on its way. So... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, enough about that, guys. Um, I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.